Well, I think uh, you, can, you can give a lot of definitions of reputation, but basically reputation is something other people think about your company. And it's probably a, a, a bit of a mix between uh, you know, a snapshot and a process. Talking about if reputation is manageable or not, uh, my belief is of course it is manageable, but and the key thing to that is an authentic uh, desire uh, of the company and its leadership to uh, actually do what they want to do. They need to have a sense of direction and just following the rules and managing the risks doesn't seem to be enough. You can protect yourselves, of course, from reputational risks and threats, uh, but if you want to build something, you need uh, uh, rules, you need uh, principles, you need time. Well, for me, it's difficult to, to judge how the future is in you know, other industries or other markets. Uh, talking about my company, Megaphone, which is uh, one of the largest telecom companies in Russia uh, and is very consumer-focused uh, and we have a lot of interactions with all kinds of audiences in different environments in, in Russia. I think the key thing is not just to be communicating outside what the company believes, what the, its values are, what it does, talk about its products, but I think it's more important and uh, that's what I'm trying to, to do is understand where the site, society is going, what are the trends and be uh, ahead of the curve a little bit and help management make decisions. And this is the most difficult part because uh, one thing is to understand things, uh, the other thing is to tell things, and the third most difficult thing is to make uh, people change their mind and change their actions. And very often uh, that would come uh, against their beliefs uh, and uh, more importantly against the beliefs of the shareholders who of course are interested more in revenue. But you have to convince them that uh, doing the way you're suggesting would actually be beneficial long term. But when you work internationally, I think what you get is uh, uh, a perspective. You, you get to understand that uh, there are very different uh, views, there are very different traditions, there are very different ways of life uh, that people choose. Uh, so learning to respect them and understand them I think is the biggest value. And when you learn to respect and understand that knowledge and that behavior you can actually bring into any place you work. So that's probably the biggest learning. Talking about uh, public relations, you'd be surprised how much uh, you find uh, both in the regions of Russia or regions of Indonesia in terms of professionalism and uh, understanding of what's best for the company down there. And that is an important learning that uh, not uh, all the knowledge is coming from uh, you know the Western schools, books or PR firms. Actually, uh, when you work in, in a market like Russia, you would rather rely on uh, you know the people who are on the ground than on uh, what's, what you can hear at uh, different lectures. I'm becoming more and more local. It used to be global, but uh, not anymore. I work in Russia now, it's been, what, four years? So I, I notice some behavioral changes. I speak differently, I listen differently. I'm actually changing to the worst. So I think I'm becoming, yeah, becoming more narrow-minded than I was. So what I suggest to those who can uh, is spend some time working in different places, different environments, not necessarily abroad, but different companies, etc. Uh, for me, maybe for other people, for other people it, it may be different, but for me the longer you stay in one place, uh, the more kind of narrow focused you become. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Moscovite, but uh, Moscow is a pretty aggressive city and a pretty tough environment to live in, but in exchange it actually offers uh, a lot of good rewards. Well, there are pros and cons.